pot out of Miami. And like the way my house is designed, I don't have any tints on the front windows, but as you can see, the way my house is designed is just straight windows and windows. And we have like my living room area and the sun just beams into here in the afternoon. And it is so hot. Look at the sun beaming. What is my AC on, bro? Okay, that's, that's about accurate, so. Anyways, <laughs> let's get to the rest of the video. Alright, damn, bruh. The f I'm gonna go shave. Yo, what's good, everybody? So, in this video, pretty much what I'm gonna be going over is what the reality of pro trading is and why a lot of people don't want to talk about it. So, I'm gonna have multiple uh, bullet points, uh, things to cover uh, that goes over this topic, um, and hopefully, a lot of you can get an understanding of the reality of what pro trading actually is because it's not what it's painted to be like you know on social media where you know you're just chilling on a beach and you know you have your little laptop most of those people they don't know what they're talking about so um you know and again you know those people are just trying to sell uh, sell you a dream i'm personally here to tell you the reality of what trading has been based off of my experience um and again i've been trading for the last five years i've been trading since i was 17 years old and this is something i've dedicated my life to and before right i even became consistently profitable in that term right this is something where i told myself i see myself doing this for the rest of my life so if you're somebody who you're like yeah you know i'm just gonna treat this as a hobby see if i can make a couple bucks it's not gonna work out well for you you're most likely just gonna lose your money you're better off going to the casino and blowing it there you potentially make a better return right so that being said right if you don't plan on day trading for at least the next 10 to 15 years you have to really understand and ask yourself is this for me just the learning curve alone will take you years to master right not even master because you're always going to be learning something about the markets about yourself because trading is a game of psychology at the end of the day i want to say psychology makes it about 80 percent of what trading actually is 20 percent everything else so trading is a game where you're going to be in this for years you will not be consistently profitable in the first few months right you will not get rich quick that's definitely another one and whoever tells you that you know it, trading is easy or trading is something that you know can be understood and you can start making money very quickly you know within the first few months even the first two years right is that they most likely don't know what they're talking about and if they see trading as something like you you know what I feel like I'm gonna retire. You know, I, I've seen a bunch of people online saying, you know what, I feel like I'm gonna retire from trading. They've only been trading for four years. I'm like, do you really trade then? Right? Very, 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 very tough subject to learn. Learning how to trade is literally like learning a new language. It's gonna be very hard and be very dedicated. Right? So, anyways, on to the next topic. So now the next topic I wanted to cover are really just kind of expectations and what you can expect to make off the market and what type of returns you could see, right? So for those of you who are really, you know, the way I kind of explain trading to everybody who's in my learn and earn group or my student discord, whatever the case might be is, right? What you expect to make is really all gonna be based off of your account balance, right? So obviously, the more money you have in your account, the more money you're gonna make. Now, say, that being said, don't expect to come in the market with a $10,000 account and expect to make you know, $100,000 by the end of the year. That's something that's not sustainable, right? Because we're talking about sustainable gains. We're looking to make anywhere you know, between a few percentage uh, of our return on investment every single month. Now, I do apologize if I may stutter or kind of skip over uh, any words here. You know, English wasn't my uh, main language that I learned how to speak. I was born and raised um, <laughs> to learn uh, how to speak English, and I was born and raised speaking Spanish, so, you know, sometimes I may confuse my words. But that being said, right, we're only looking to make a certain percentage of our account every single month. You know, 
what type of percentage is going to depend on what type of trader you are. You know, some traders, you know, may see a 5% gain and that be incredible to them at the end of the month. And some traders might see a 15% gain at the end of the month and be like, okay, you know, I did pretty well this month. It all depends on your own performance. Everybody's going to be different now. You really got to look at it from a year to year perspective. You know, how much money am I making every month to every quarter to every year, right? You know, when it comes down to expectations and what you can expect, I wouldn't really look at it to be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna make a few hundred percent at the end of the year. I That's not really something that's sustainable, right? I look at everything from being a in a sustainable standpoint, right? Now, you're gonna go through periods of drawdown in the market, meaning that you're gonna be going through, you know, a, a losing streak for a certain amount of time, along with a winning streak. That's why money management and risk reward is so crucial when it comes down to trading and looking at your trading account. Now, the reality of what trading is, like, you know, we have kind of first discussed in the beginning of the video is, you know, I'm not always on vacation, I'm not always traveling, right? Typically, I'm in my office most of the day, I'm in my office most of the night i you know i live and breathe in my office these four walls that you see here typically is where i spend most of my time right you don't normally see me on a beach with my laptop or you know i very rarely take vacations why because trading is a career that you need to put your all into and where do i feel you know my best and you know, I feel more focused and that's the only place that's gonna be is in my office. I'm not gonna be feeling as focused if I'm, you know, in Cancun, you know, drinking, uh, uh, drinking and partying all day then having to come back to my hotel room and try and get on the market. I'm just gonna end up losing money. So when I vacation, right, I don't even look at my laptop. Sure, I may take some crypto positions here and there, but that's more or less like just buying and holding crypto from an investment standpoint, not necessarily a day trading standpoint. When it comes down to day trading, it has to be something where you're very disciplined, right? You're gonna show up, you're gonna be sober, right? Because when you're sober, you're thinking logically, right? And you know, I can go completely more indefinite, but the majority of the time I'm spending uh, is here in my office. This is where I spend almost all of my time. Now, that being said again, right? Flipping accounts is something that is not sustainable as well. Right, sure, you could do a little challenges here, you know, do a, you know, everyone has different finances, right? Uh, to me, if I'm gonna do an account flip challenge, I'm gonna deposit 10 grand, you know, and try and make as much money as possible. Um, but I know I have a high probability of also blowing that money. So you should never trade your main account as you are gonna be trading an account challenge, if that's how you wanna put it, if that's, you know, the perspective that you really wanna look at it. We're looking for sustainable gains, something that we could focus on making a return on investment over a long period of time. And that's something that a lot of people have difficulty doing because a lot of the times people can get lucky, you know what I mean? And, you know, make an actual pretty big gain um, on their account, whatever the case might be is, right? But you wanna look at something that's sustainable. And again, you know, that goes back to the previous topic. Everybody's gonna have a different ideology or a different expectation to what sustainable is based off of their past performance like i said again you know something that's sustainable for one person might be five percent a month versus another person being you know 10 to 15 percent a month uh, being sustainable and again do you really think you're gonna make a living on a even a fucking twenty thousand dollar account again you know you make ten percent on a twenty thousand dollar account that's two thousand dollars at the end of the month can you cover all your expenses plus live off of two thousand dollars at the end of the month right most likely not and it all depends on the life you really want to live at the end of the day right but again a 10 percent gain on a three hundred thousand dollar account is thirty thousand dollars you know could you live off of thirty thousand dollars more than you know most definitely right so again depending on the life you want to live will have to depend on what type of account balance you need versus what your returns look like because again everybody's returns are going to look different i can average 10 to 15 percent a month maybe you can only average two to two to three percent a month right and then from there once you look at how much you've made you know in the last few quarters in terms of percentage return is when you could decide you know how much money you really need to make a living off of trading this is me telling you guys the reality based off of my experience and again you know i'm telling you guys how it is and a lot of people may not want to hear what i'm telling them because you know it really does sound like a dream crusher when i tell you hey you know you're not going to flip 
your really small account into a really big account and then start living off of it. You know, the probability of you losing all that money is a lot higher than you making a lot of money, right? It's gonna turn that person off and be like, oh, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I personally don't care. I'm here speaking to, a, speaking as a trader to my real traders, not my gamblers, right? So that's kind of what I wanted to cover in this video. I know it wasn't really gonna to be too long of a video, but I kind of just wanted to have a little discussion with you guys what the reality of pro trading is versus you know what is being uh, sold online. You know what I mean? I can definitely make a part two to this video. You know, if you guys give me more topics to kind of cover, leave a comment uh, down in the comment section, and maybe I'll make a part two. Who knows? Um, it really depends all on you guys. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it probably wasn't the longest video, but it is something that I did want to uh, put out there. Um, so again, yeah, if there's any topics you want me to cover, I can definitely make a part two to this video. Who knows, maybe I'll post it at the end of the week. Um, it all depends, so drop a comment, let me know what topics you want me to cover um, for you guys to kind of you know, pick my brain on the trading psychology. But again, you know, if you're somebody who's not gonna be trading for a very long time, then there's no point in even getting into it. So. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Shout out everybody.